the news, good evening. President Wevel Ramkalawan, when addressing the nation last night, announced changes in four government ministries. This is the Ministry of Agriculture, Climate Change and Environment. The Ministry of Education has been restructured. It now comprises of two departments. There has also been changes in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Tourism, as well as the Ministry of Finance. President Ramkalawan also spoke of his desires to bring down prices of goods in the shops and he announced that the STC is carrying out a comprehensive task to try to bring down the commodities that it imports and uh, the President promised that prices of goods sold by the STC on uh, Prale and the Dig will not differ in uh, any way from the prices paid by consumers on Mahe. The central bank has had to act for a second time this month to allow the foreign exchange market to function as it should. The central bank governor, Carolina Bell, made the announcement during a press conference this morning. The bank's action follows complaints from clients that they were unable to sell their forex. The first time the central bank took such action was on the 12th of this month, where it bought about 12.1 million of excess dollars from the market at 17 rupees 40 cents a dollar. And this was done with the expectation of smoothing out the functioning of the foreign exchange market. It worked for a few days, and then later on, we started to get new complaints that uh, especially businesses um, could not uh, process their request to sell. And having assessed the uh, situation, Central Bank felt it necessary to do another action to try and assist the market to do its work. So on Thursday last week, we did another auction to remove the excess foreign exchange. And in this transaction, we bought $13.8 million at a price of 14.7. And uh, straight after that, two days uh, in a row, we've seen some significant sales that has happened in the market. And we expect that now things will uh, move along smoothly and that uh, we can start seeing some anchoring of expectation vis-à-vis -vis the exchange rate, which should help balance both the interest of exporters and that of importers. So this is the expectation of Central Bank following the second action. Tomorrow, the world will be celebrating the Day for Safety and Health at Work. The Minister for Employment and Social Affairs, uh, Patricia Franco, has sent a message and said that her ministry joins with the International Labour Organization, the ILO, and the rest of the world in commemorating the day. She says the ministry supports the ILO chosen theme for this year, anticipate, prepare and respond to crisis, invest now in resilient occupational safety and health systems. This, she said, called for significant organizational readjustments as COVID-19 is one more risk in an organization's work process that should be managed with the same degree of importance and intensity as any other occupational safety and health risks. Minister Franco says that to combat the pandemic, workplace establishments were obliged to take several stunts in the containment of uh, COVID in order to prevent or reduce the spread. The emergence of this new threat, she said, has placed emphasis on safety and health in workplaces and prompted us to adapt our laws and policies to cater for this emerging challenge. The new Camion Hall building in Victoria celebrates its 30th anniversary today. The building was inaugurated on the 27th of April 1991. The renovated building, which used to be a school, was named after the Camion Service, uh, one of Seychelles Transportation, in 1972. The building was placed uh, under the care of SIDEC, 
a sector under the Ministry of Industry with the aim of caring for small businesses. Today, ESSA, Enterprise Seychelles Agency, a sector under the Department of Entrepreneurship and Industry, has replaced SIDEC, caring for micro and medium businesses in addition to small businesses. The many spaces in the Camin Hall building was uh, to provide uh, the artisans uh, a location where they could sell their products at an affordable rent uh, fee. To mark the building's 30th anniversary, the Minister for Investment, Entrepreneurship and Industry, Devika Vidot, unveiled a plaque in the form of a painting of the building done by done in a mirror by artist John Bouzet. Minister Vidot says Camin Hall will continue to be used to promote the products of local artisans. The Ministry will be relooking and has been relooking at the operations of the Artisan des Îles shop, which has been suffering tremendously from operational inefficiency and lack of resources. It therefore became evident more and more after the COVID pandemic that a more commercially viable option needed to be explored in order to keep the shop operational. In order to retain the purpose that the shop was set out to serve, we, we are working on issuing an expression of interest to be made to the private sector to carry out the exact same function as the present artisan, artisan des Îles, which is to sell locally crafted products of the artisans of Seychelles. The benefit will be an opportunity for the private sector to engage with government, to develop and take this platform for local artisans to a higher level. The purpose of the shop will remain unchanged and Camion Hall will continue to be instrumental in providing the space for our artisans' products so that they can be offered the vis visibility that they need. Furthermore, looking at the vision of our ministry, and that is to boost the export of our local products, Camino Hall represents the huge potential still for our current and upcoming business, businesses for the creation, development and sale of these products. With our soon to emerge Seychelles made brand, we will also see opportunities for wider exposure internationally. Looking ahead, we will continue to identify ways in which Camino Hall can further facilitate business ventures. Tourism, education and security, in particular policing, are areas Rwanda wants to have more collaboration with Seychelles. The new Rwandan High Commissioner to Seychelles, Major General Charles Garamba, made the statement after presenting his credentials to President Wevel Rumkalawan this morning. Present was also the Minister for Tourism, Mr. Sylvestre Radogon, and the Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Marina Kofé. Mr. Karamba is the fourth Rwandan High Commissioner to be accredited to Seychelles. He replaces Mr. Eugene Kaihura, who was accredited in 2017. During his meeting with the President, they discussed on several sectors of collaboration. We are looking forward to increasing our co uh, collaboration in, in uh, many sectors, especially the sector of uh, tourism. Seychelles uh, is uh, highly developed in tourism industry. Rwanda is doing a great job. There is a lot that we need to share in, in order to make sure that uh, this sector of tourism is developed to the highest level that both of us need to. There is a lot that we need to do in education. You know, both our two countries are members of the Commonwealth, and at the same time, our two countries are also members of uh, French-speaking uh, countries. If you, there is a lot that we have in common. And as far as education, countries speaking two languages uh, can share. So we've discussed uh, how to uh, go further in cooperating in areas of uh, education. I am going to have an opportunity to interact with the University of Seychelles before I leave. So we are going to see other areas also apart from education. In the areas of uh, security, we, we look forward to, you know, Rwanda has got a very, uh, very good schools in uh, police, policing, so we look forward to sharing that experience with the Republic of Seychelles. And the High Commissioner Karamba also called on Vice President Ahmed Afif. And with this, we come to the end of this news uh, summary. Have a pleasant evening.